Hey, it's Allison, and today I'm gonna to be trying out hair extensions. Every few months I go through this cycle where I let my hair grow out, then I chop it off, and lately I've been feeling the itch to have it grown back out again, but we all know that takes time. So I decided to take an eensy teensy little shortcut and order some hair extensions. Now, if you've never done clip on extensions before, and I have never, so I had to teach myself along the way, I'm gonna tell you a few tips and tricks. I got my extensions on Amazon and I tried to find a set that was gonna match my hair as closely as possible. Honestly, I just took a leap of faith. I saw a color that looked similar and I decided to just go ahead and get them. When you're choosing your extensions, you're gonna to wanna to go with human hair. I'm sorry if that grosses you out, but honestly, you're gonna get the best quality and the best result if you go with real, actual human hair. Right, so let's take a look at my set. The set that I have has seven wefts. And if you're not familiar with that term, a weft is basically just a clip of hair, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, mine came with these two smaller ones and I ordered uh, a color that was like darker at the roots and then has sort of the ombre ends because it matches up really, really closely with my color. I'm telling you, I got super lucky with this. I just took a chance on it and they ended up working out perfectly with the color. My extensions are 14 inch clip-on extensions. Keep in mind when you're ordering extensions, I think 14 inches are about the shortest that they come. My natural hair is about 14 inches long, but you're not gonna be attaching these right at the root. You're gonna be attaching them a little bit further down. So if you wanna just add a little bit of length, then just keep that in mind. You may not wanna go with the longest extension, although if you do, you can always take them to your hairdresser and get them cut and styled to the length that you actually want. So my set of extensions came with these two smaller pieces. It also came with two pieces that have two clips on them a longer three clip piece, a longer yet four clip piece, and the longest piece of all, another four clip piece, but it's definitely wider. I have a smaller head, <laughs> so I'm not gonna need all seven of these wefts. I would look like I had way too much hair if I put all seven on, but if you tend to have more hair or your head's a little bit larger than mine, then you may need to use all seven. I'm probably only going to use about four or five of mine to show you how I style my hair today. Now, if you're in the market for some clip-in hair extensions, Amazon is an awesome place to find them. My set cost about 65 bucks, so it is a little bit of an investment, especially if it's something you're not sure you're gonna wear, you're not sure you're gonna like. Again, I took a leap of faith and I ended up loving these. I've had to play around with them a little bit to actually get the look that I wanted, but it's been totally worth it. I love that I can change up my look and it's super easy, which I'm about to show you. So the first thing you're gonna need is a clippy like this and a curling iron or a flat iron or however you want to style them. That's it. It's really easy. Watch and see. So the first piece that I'm going to add is a bang. I've been growing out my bangs for a few months now. It is going really, really slowly and I would love to be able to just tuck them behind my ear, but I'm not quite to that point yet. So I usually just end up taking a bobby pin, twisting them and pinning them back every day. But what I found is if I take this nice skinny weft right here, I can just pull up a little portion of my bang like so, attach it really close to my head like that, pull the bang portion back down over it and create the illusion that the bang is actually longer than it is. Then I can do my normal pinning that I do every single day, but I have a little bit more hair there so it helps to hide that bang just a little bit more. So I just take that, twist it back, and pin it there. I find that these really skinny, narrow wefts work really great right here along your temples. If you have a little bit of thinning going on in your hair, you can just slide one in there, put the hair down over it, and you never see it. And you can see that this piece is a little bit longer than the rest of my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the other pieces in to fill it out. All right, it's time to do the back and sides. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna actually just kind of separate this top layer and pull it up. I'm gonna start with the back first and then I'll work on the sides. Just pull that up and clip it. 
And then you can pull one of the longer wefts out. I don't think I'm gonna need the longest one. I'm probably gonna go with one of the three clip or four clips that's not quite as long. So you just open those clips up and then you slide them down onto your hair. You can have somebody else help you do this. It's awesome. I had my daughter help me yesterday. She was able to line them up for me, but I don't have any issues doing them myself either. They're pretty easy. Just slide the little cones down, clip them closed, and then give it a tug just to make sure it's on there properly. And there's my back one. All right. If you want to, you can layer another piece over top of that one just to give it a little bit more thickness. So I'm gonna take my three clip one and layer him right over top. All right, back is done. I didn't show you this part, but I just removed my clip and you're just gonna take your natural hair and just kind of smooth it down over there to cover everything up. Now you're gonna start on your sides and you can go ahead and clip a layer up on the side. And don't look at my gray roots, they're in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use the two clip ones on the sides and just follow that same exact system that we used in the back. I already have the one weft right here and that one's nice and secure. All right, take the piece down kind of smooth it over top. I'm gonna to curl it all in a minute so it kind of all blends and you'll see, be, be able to see what the final product is gonna look like. Other side, same deal. Pull it up, attach the combs, lock in place, then take the layer and flop it over. Uh, I honestly think that that's thick enough. Uh, it probably doesn't look like it's blended very well right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my curling iron over it because the curling iron is really what's gonna help it kind of all blend together and look like it belongs and that you're, you're not gonna be able to see the shorter pieces underneath as easily whenever I curl it. I went ahead and twisted my bang piece and pulled it back. So the great thing about having the human hair extensions is that you can do all of the heat styling to them that you do to your regular hair. You can wash them and dry them. You can do basically everything that you do to your hair. I've worn them straight before. I prefer to wear them curly because I feel like they blend a little bit better whenever I do that. Um, so what I usually do is I will clip them in first and then I curl them, but I've seen people actually curl them before they put them on their head. That also works, but I just like how you can blend your real hair, which I'm curling right now, in with the extensions and it makes everything look seamless and like it belongs together. All right, ta-da! I just saved six months to a year of growing my hair out, and I did it in about 10 minutes flat. So this is the beauty of extensions, and I've gotta say, they look pretty natural, they hold curl really well, you can use hairspray on them, you can use product on them, and I just love how they look. They make my hair thicker, um, 
and they really do add that little bit of length and it's nothing too dramatic or drastic where people are gonna look at you and be like, oh my gosh, what did you do to your hair? So I am loving mine. I got them on Amazon. I will link them up in the caption. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys next time.